outside. Walk go on, my people. Walk go on, walk go on. You don't know it's invincible. The raga raga boss, you know, man. What's going on? What's going on? You don't know first and foremost, give thanks and praise to the most high God for life. Because you don't know, say. Once you have life, you have everything. See me? Because where there's life, there's hope. See me, I say. You don't know. Big respect to all the real invincible fans, them, the real raga raga fans, them. Big up on yourself to all my well wishers. Big up on yourself, all my supporters. Big up on yourself. The dear one, one, them. Big up on yourself. New ones, them. Big up on yourself. You see me? So, this morning I want to talk about Sting. Sting 2023, which is the 40th anniversary of Sting. That basically was brought back to Jam World, the stamping ground. You see me? Man, um, so many things happen at Sting. So many things happen at Sting. And um, you don't know how we keep it from our, our channel and from the Raga Raga ends. We keep it 100% real. You see me? So there's a few few things happen at Sting that I want to touch on. Seeing um, some artists did not get to perform. A um, couple of artists was, was fighting to, uh, at the end of the show. And... You know, some other things, but those are the main things that I and I want to talk about. See? Now, the first thing I want to talk about. Is. The fight. The fighting. Now. Every vlogger and every blogger and everybody has got to have their own opinion on how they feel about this situation. With the fighting a sting. Most people are blame as far as what I say, a lot of the the headlines are saying fully bad. A fight a sting. No. I like I said this. I am not gonna blame fully bad for what happened at Sting. I am going to blame Sting promoters. See? And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Too often, too often, when Sting are gone, random artist is given microphone to walk on stage while somebody else is performing. Sin? And I don't think that's right. Sin? Now, if you have... If you paid Coyote for clash with Fully Bad and that clash is promoted, publicized, then that's what it should be. While these two artists are on stage, nobody else is supposed to get no mic for walk on the stage. That should not happen. And it's not the first time or the second time or the third. It's been going on. See, if you go, if you, if you go back and remember, it happened when Popcorn was performing at one sting. Nuffy gave a mic to Black Rhino for walk on from Popcorn set. As to where Popcorn not expecting. And the same thing happened. Pushing and tussling happened. Popcorn end up push. Black Rhino off of the stage. That also happened with Kiprich. When Kiprich is supposed to clash one person, four, five, six different people end up with Mike and a walk on pan stage. That should never happen, man. See? I strongly believe that when two people are clash, Sting must set the thing where when two people are clash, Nobody but, but those two people must be on stage. No entourage, no, but the only other people must be close to the artist them is security. You understand what I say? For example, for example, when you look at, um, you remember when there was a clash with um, 
Tony Mataran and Merciless and Kiprich. Saying Nuffy was there as a referee. You understand? That's how it's supposed to be. You can't have artists just a walk up on other artists thing. And a sort of thing go bridging. So I am going to blame the promoter for have better stage management, better security and more proper things when it comes to clashing because most artists, if you not pay them for clash, them nah clash. And if you not advertise them for clash, them nah clash. So you can't have so when you do when you do things like that, you you're trying to blackmail or catch an artist off guard. Because if you say me a clash the artist there. When me I do my songs, they man I build my songs, they man I do whatever me I got do. Forget prepare for the clash. Me I build my songs, they man my everything. My punchlines, my songs, my everything is built towards that specific artist. So when another artist walk on for me, me not have no ammunition for get him because me never plan for clash the artist there. So that's a sabotage. See? That's how I feel about this whole thing. See? Big up all of the artists, them big up Coyote, big up Fully Bad. You understand the other youth in your animosity? You understand? Him come on from the stage and cause all of this. See? And that's a no no in my eyes. See? Alright. Now, this is the other couple of things I want to talk about. Spraga Benz put out a video and he said, Sorry to my fans, I was in the venue, but circumstances behind my, beyond my control, I did not get to perform. A lot of people start come out and said, Spraga Benz did not get to perform because Bounty Killer performed too long. Right? Now, this is where I have a problem with that. I log on to Coda. I download Sting and I am watching Sting. I was watching Sting from 8.30 or 8 something. Saying up till 1.30 after midnight. I miss some little I'm, again we I keep it real. I wanna mean no disrespect to no one. Saying but tell you what I saw. I saw the worst the worst talents from 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 for the first 6 hours of Sting. Now, over the years, I always heard that some young artists have to pay length to get on Sting so they can perform on Sting. When, when I was watching this thing last night, I said, but this has to be true because there's no way Lang and every day and Nuffy or whoever is a part of Supreme Promotion is going to pick or select these artists to perform. Them was whack. Again, no disrespect, you know, but me know say there's hundreds and hundreds of more talented artists out there, especially in Jamaica. That If you go by every street corner and every garrison and everywhere in Jamaica, you see young youth you and you that DJ were bad. So I don't understand that. So here where the problem come in now. Remember, you know, the show is built. The show was built. Highlighting 10 giants. The show was built. Highlighting 10 giants. Right? I don't know who they consider the giants then, but we know that Bounty Killer was on, on it. Tammy Lee, Capleton, uh, Spraga Benz, uh, Bugle, and some other artists. Phantom Mojo and some uh, General, uh, uh, General B, you know, some veteran artists. Now, when you have 10 giants, I not even call the 10 names, I just want to call at least 4 of these artists or 5 of these artists. You have Bounty Killer, you have Capleton, you have Spraga Benz, see? Anthony Banton, see? These artists' catalogue is long from Yasso to Jericho. 
Remember, the man had DJ for over 30 years. Some of them had DJ for over 25 years. Now, my question is this. I don't understand. If you have 10 giants to perform, how much minutes were you expecting are these artists who are contracted to perform for? 20 minutes and 15 minutes? Twenty minutes or fifteen minutes? Because when one thirty after midnight, one thirty a.m. now gone in the wee hours of the morning, no big artist not start perform yet. So remember, you know, one thirty, two thirty, three thirty, four thirty, five thirty, six thirty. That are five hours left before the show close. Five hours was left before the show closed and no artist, no D-Angel, no Bounty Killer, no artist, well-known name artist perform yet. Then what kind of stage management this and what kind of contract was this? It didn't make any sense because I don't think you're going to expect to have a man like Bounty Killer and a man like Capitan and these guys to come and perform for 15, 20 or 30 minutes because their money catalog long. So all these things is about the promoter didn't do the thing properly. I also see a video with K-Queens and K-Queens that explain, say, oh, even when them go there, them not get no ban and them have to up and down. See, I can tell you why the promoter, them, I don't know what it is that I'm feeling and thinking that they are getting some form of pay from some other artist. Because, watch out. The artists them were performed in the beginning, them whack. Some bag of artists from England and some Japanese people and some people who can't even talk good. I perform for six and seven and eight minutes in at the beginning. Then in the wee hours, you have people like Queenie. The people that have no disrespect. The people that have clap off Queenie off a stage because I don't know. Queenie is not an artist. Queenie is not an artist, Bridget. So now look at four or five, five minutes there where Queenie get in a prime time. Could I go to ask somebody sensible? A real artist. They must do better. My suggestion, and I can't take my foolish advice. Leng, when you are those things, artists must be contracted with time frame. You understand? You want to say, yo, people, I have to make sure you highlight that from early before posters put up. Say, listen, 10 giant, show time for the 10 giant at 12.30 or 12 midnight. An artist contracted for work from such time and such time. That means that every artist know Bunty Killer know he might come at 3 o'clock. D Angel know she gonna come 12.30. Capitan know he might come 4 o'clock and everybody have them slated slats. You understand? Another thing is, the show done and Coyote and the Clash them never get for happen. And them I beg me here, them I beg the police them for time so them can go perform. All these things play a part. The man them are gelling in a run. The man them I get fatigued and, and fidgety. Car, eh? yeah, clash of it. No, all these things must be panned out and detailed out. Is this going to go 100% top of the top? And No, probably not. But it could be 10 times better. You see me? It no look good, man. Sting at the show in a virgin. And it not, the last few things, I don't know if a new people are deal with it or what's going on, but it nah look properly, man. Come on, man. I put where I come from, you know. Over one break and over one part, you know. I got a sting from 80s, you know. I something where we, where we love and we cherish, you know, man. When Christmas will come, you know, we make sure we buy a Christmas outfit and say, this man, we got a sting, you know. You understand what I say? And it's not a good look, Bridget. The next thing what I'm, I'm saying is, Leng, enough are we out here with talent. We need to talk about people like me who are living in America. But when Sting I go keep, you say by after the summer, you must start audition. Leng Supreme Promotion, some of the top artists them were involved with Sting, the Bounty, the Ninja, you know, Ninja can't really do that, but just an example, some of the past general and legends of sting need to have a panel and have people come and audition to be opening act for sting so
So from your enter sting 8 o'clock in the evening, in the early hours of the night, you get some good performance because you select some decent performers and artists, upcoming artists, for perform. And you give them them time. Oh, all right. All the young artists from this time to this time, I get five minutes. Them artists say I get eight minutes. And this artist I get one song. And them artists say I get one song. And you build the thing, go up to prime time. It's not a good look, man. You don't know it. That's just my take on this whole stink thing. You see me, I say, more and big up the people them and the performance them. When we say, we really say, yeah, the performance was bad. Um, keep it and of course you know said so the fireman are gonna do it um bounty killer do his thing you know him call up some artists and do him thing you understand um if a me some man a burn out bounty say bounty go over him time and and um and call up a bag of artists and 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 that's why spraga bends not get for perform. That's not why Spraga Benz not get for perform. But you should have fee one hour in him contract and Spraga have fee one hour or 45 minutes in him contract. Keep it and have him 45 minutes and one hour in him contract and them big man there. Because I heard Len say that all time on a mouth. So the 10 giant them have to get their time so them can do them thing. Me said Len pan the nightly fix and that's what he said. You see me? So that's something there. Look, Bunty call up Baby Sham. Baby Sham is a giant. He never get book for Sting and him is a giant. Killer was able to call up an artist like that. Killer call up Richie Stevens. Legendary Richie Stevenson. Jashi. One of the artists, newest thing. Because you can say from the new artists, them, the couple of new artists, Jashi and Valiant is the top two big man them. As far as the newcomers. So these are the people who kill a call up that were not even booked for Sting and them are top artists. So I'm not understand the part that the part the thing we, we mess everything up, it was not properly organized. And Lenga Leng and every day, when no Lenga say my retire and him son I take over. You see me? We have to have more better or more. I don't think the right people are in the right position and the right places. Including security and including owner around the stage. You understand me I say? All the something there when one man a DJ. If you a DJ and a clash against the next man, nobody else not have no mic. Nobody else not have a mic. Two to two, head to head, bam, bam, bam. You see me I say, lyrically, man a spit lyrics, man a spit lyrics. All you need a backup singer back there, so if you a backup where I say, a clash, a clash. Nah, man. That not for work, so. Another thing when we, when, when we think would have enhanced the whole sting thing. You have... Them look at artists they were DJing at the beginning. Them can they, them not sound good and them a DJ for instrumental and it, like a DJ does a play the instrumental and make it a run. And the man them a DJ and it no sound good. You must can get one little some little bands for come play in at the early part for the young or upcoming artists them with audition and make it. You understand me I say? And then you know you have your caution and your rough cut now we are gonna come up in a prime time and play for the big artist them that's how i feel about this whole thing my brother i don't know you don't know it's invincible it's the raga raga boss you know you don't you don't know we just come and we keep it real please leave your comments about this thing what you guys think big up the angel can i said the angel performance and she go on wicked you know me i said the angel um i myself was surprised how she performed you understand? She performed really well. You understand? She re she did a real, you know? She did good. She did re very well. Um, big up the all of them and them will perform good. And big up everything. Big up Coyote. Big up uh, uh, Fully Bad. Big up Leng and Supreme. Big up Nuffy. Big up everybody. But yo, remember, you know, not because we're up here so sometimes we don't feel like we can listen to some people where they're not on a level or rich like you know, or whatever the case may be. But sometimes I have to take some meditation and listen and say, yeah, that sound good and that sound good. But again, I know that it's business because if Leng, if Leng charge an artist a thousand US dollars for come and perform pan sting, 
and him get 10 or 20 and them artists there a 20,000 US dollar that that a 2 million dollar him can use that 2 million and pay a couple of the big artists them so probably that's the reason it's a, on a business level um, but I don't know but it's something I say that's my take that's how I think about this whole thing please leave your comments and let me know when I say don't forget to like share subscribe say tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend don't forget also check out all my new music and all the things that I'm doing and you can follow me on Instagram real underscore invincible on Instagram TikTok real invincible you see me I say it's invincible it's the Ragabas Cloud Eye remember love and unity and God first blim